Hello everyone, my name is Beth Larson and I am a Francophone Research Data Manager with PMA. The purpose of this video is to review the PMA Data Management Git workflow. This workflow is an overview of how the PMA Data Management Organization and the country organizations interact. The PMA Data Management Organization is where all of the template do files are stored. All members of the PMA Data Management staff, both in partner countries and based in Baltimore, have access to the PMA Data Management Organization. There are two types of branches in the PMA Data Management Organization. The master branch, where the most recent version of the do file templates is located, and do file update branches, where members of the data management team make updates to the do files and commit their changes. When a new change has been made to a do file in a do file update branch in the PMA data management organization, as is shown here and here, those changes are integrated into the master do file templates using a pull request, as is shown here and here. Each time an update is made to a master do file template in the PMA data management organization, this change is shared with all of the country organizations, again via a pull request, as is depicted here. The country organizations are a direct copy of the PMA data management organization. However, the only people who have access to the do files in a country organization are the data management staff in that country and the PMA Baltimore data management staff. This means that a person working in Uganda cannot see the PMA Burkina Faso do files. This is important because we have identifiable information in many of our do files that cannot be seen by people who are not on the country's data management team. The repositories and the country organizations were initially created by forking the master branch from the PMA data management organization into the country organization. Not only does this create a direct copy of the repository, but it enables us to make the necessary pull requests back and forth between the two organizations. If we did not fork the repository, it would not be possible to share changes from one organization to another. This is also important because all of the repositories in the PMA Data Management Organization are private. Once again, this is because of the identifiable information that is stored in the do files. Having private repositories in GitHub means that only people with the correct permissions can access the do files. In the country organizations, there are two types of branches. There are the round branches, as is shown here, and the do file update branches. First, we will go over a round branch. A new round branch is created for each round of data collection in a country. Commits are made to update the do files to make sure that they are ready to be used for data collection. If at any point during data collection, an update is made to the master do file templates, as is shown here, we will then merge those changes from the master to the round branch to make sure that the most recent versions of the do files are being used to edit the data. Once data collection is complete and the correct data products have been generated, we make a data product tag, which helps us to identify which do files were used to develop which data projects. The second type of branch in a country organization is the do file update branch. This functions much like the do file update branches in the PMA organization. Countries can also make updates to do files within their country organizations, as is shown here. They then make the pull request to integrate those changes into their master templates 
and must also submit a pull request to the PMA Data Management master templates so that those changes can be shared with other country organizations. As you can see, using GitHub enables multiple people to make changes to the same do files at the same time. For example, here in the master branch, we have two people updating the do files at the same time, and all of those changes are being integrated into the country organizations. Additionally, we have this person making an update to the do files in the country organization at the same time as this person in the PMA data management organization, and those changes are easily shared between organizations. This is one of the main reasons why the PMA data management team decided to begin using GitHub instead of Dropbox. For more information on the PMA data management GitHub system, you can take a look at the Git, GitHub, and GitKraken SOPs. Also, make sure to watch all of the other videos in the PMA data management training course. Thanks!